yo 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 youtube uh, today i would like to share about this cool new thing i learned about mac os x mavericks that i discovered actually by accident last night when i tried to plug in my 1080p tv into my thunderbolt port using the thunderbolt uh, 2 hdmi connector I noticed that mirroring is uh, turned on by default. So what it does is, it drives the local display of my MacBook Air into a 1080p resolution. So everybody knows that there's no MacBook Air that has a 1080p resolution. At least it doesn't support it natively. Especially on Mac OS X uh, Lion or Mountain Lion. But since... Uh, well, well uh, using a multiple display, it drives it into a 1080p resolution. Then I tried the system preferences by right-clicking on the screen and change the desktop background. Uh, you can actually go to the system preferences and go to the display. I tried to change the settings but I, I found out that it can only go to the 1366 by 768 native resolution and I remember that there's a, an app that called uh, that is called Switch Res X that can actually give you more options than what the system preferences and display offers you so after installing that free app and enabling the contextual menu it will actually give you this and allow you to go up to 1920 by 1080p so everybody knows that there's no macbook air that can support 1920 by 1080p resolution natively and you cannot drive it into 1920 by 1080p even with the switch resx on the previous versions of uh, Mac OS X but I'm not sure but I, I I tried once before I can never drive it to a higher resolution but as it turns out when the Mavericks came out it is a cool new function that came with it uh, but the only problem is it works great on photos and vector graphics but the text is a bit uh, blurry and uh, there's too much anti-aliasing I uh, haven't found out a, a way to turn off the text anti-aliasing but it's still usable the most important thing is originally I can have this size of a screen bra of a uh, internet browser but with a 1080p resolution I can actually have two of them open With relative ease and I still have extra work face on uh, workspace at the bottom so you try it out download the switch resets which is a free application register it so that you can use it more more than 10 days and let me know uh, how does it perform on your MacBook Air so that's all folks see you on the next tips, gadget reviews, and unboxing. This is Robert. Have a nice day.